Hello again, friends. Have you ever been for a hearing test? The tester gives instructions to the person being tested, gets them to put on earphones, and then puts that person into a cubicle. One of the tests requires the person to raise their hand or press a button each time they hear a sound. The tester will also speak some words and ask the person to repeat what they have heard. And to correctly assess how well a person can hear, the person being tested must obey the instructions of the person responsible for giving the test. Now, aren't we grateful that God always passes the hearing test? When we call to him for help, he always hears us and always responds. So then it shifts to us to ask ourselves if we are listening to how God responds and do we put into practice what he tells us? Look at how that relationship of listening and responding on the part of both parties plays out in these words from the Bible. Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. And in his word, I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen waiting for the morning, more than watchmen waiting for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. God is attentive to our cry. God does offer unfailing love and forgiveness and the promise of redemption for our sins. So how well do we hear what God is saying to us? Are we taking time throughout the day to just listen to how God is instructing us? Are we willing to act on what he says? Heavenly Father, it's so true that we often have a hearing problem. Hmm, maybe not so much hearing the sound of your voice, hmm, but heeding your instructions. So once again today, we're asking for your help to hear well and then the willingness and the courage to put your words into action. Not just talk to talk, but walk to walk. Help us to follow your instructions, the simple ones and the ones that challenge us. Help us, as Jesus told us, to not just be hearers of your words, but doers also. Amen. So, there's a hearing test going on for each of us today as we move about our day. Let's give our attention to listening for the sound of God's voice and line our actions up with it.